What was your text did the wrong person screw up? Not my wrong text, but my STBX husband's that was sent to me instead of the woman he was cheating on me with. He called me at work immediately after sending it, basically begging me not to read it until I at least got home, so I guess I'm thankful for that. But it was not a fun time. Wow, good for you, he made that mistake. Did you have any idea before you got the text? Not a clue. We had gone through a rough patch, just got out of the first year of parenthood, which is often the make or break portion for new parents, and were finally getting back to normal six and a half year of marriage down the drain, and a child who will never remember what having two parents together is like. We won the last point my parents divorced when I was 6 mo, it's no biggie, never known anything different equals never missed on anything. That's really reassuring, actually, thank you. It wasn't my screw up, but was still pretty funny. Someone texted me a group text, it was I think 4 people involved, something like this hey guys, so what are we going to get dad for Christmas, l they were saying TV or stove, this went back and forth for a bit. Then our Marsha, you want to chime in please? So I reply with what did we get him last year? Reply you forgot? We got the washing machine and dryer. So I reply stove, I vote for a stove, because he needs to eat more than entertainment. Back and forth and back and forth. Finally I let them know him not their sister Marsha. I recently got a new number so this may be Marsha's way, if getting out of Christmas gifts. They were also funny and a few days later I get a text letting me know they got their dad a new stove L. Meant to text my wife about my office mate who was dieting by eating an entire Papa John's large cheese pizza and a 2L of coke in one sitting for lunch, but texted him instead. How do you even convince yourself that that's dieting? He used to eat too, and the pizza is just cheese bro none of those meats or veggies. I forget which pizza chain it was I think it was Pizza Hut, but their cheese pizza was higher in fat and calories than their sausage. They put extra cheese on a cheese only, while the sausage itself was lesser calories than the cheese that hit the sausage took up. I work at a semi-popular pizza chain and the way we do it is the more toppings a pizza has, the less of each topping they get, and the less cheese they get. A 6 topping pizza would have liked to, 3 of the normal amount of cheese on a cheese pizza. When I was 12 I liked to family RP on this game, and I was the mother. On the game there was this program, where you could text other players. I was the mother to the same kid multiple days, and had the same husband for a few days. I joined the game this one day and the husband is not there so 12 yo me though I'll just get a new one. About 30 minutes later the previous husband shows up, after I explained to this kid that the new husband was his new dad. I texted to the kid in the game, don't tell your father that you have a new dad I did not see who I was texting and sent it to the old dad. I'm sure you can tell that none of us ever talked or played that game ever again. Texted an article to my husband about narcissistic parents bc his mother is a classic narcissist. I included a quote from the article about a specific incident that matched exactly to something his mother did to him a few years ago. My trigger finger was heavy that day and I accidentally sent the text to his mother instead. She was the last person I had texted, so that window was open. That window is usually my husband's text thread. Fortunately she's also in complete denial about being a narcissist again, classic and has never spoken to me about it, though she did take it out on my poor husband. It's hopeless. 13 year old me texted my middle school boyfriend I saw people kissing on the TV, and it makes me wanna kiss you. Cringetopia, accidentally sent it to my mom was embarrassing. I don't think I could show my face again it's not even that bad, but I don't know why, I'd be super embarrassed. Cringetopia so yeah, what, 14 now? That's extremely rude, don't say things like that to people. Keep it to yourself. I'm so glad we didn't have cell phones when I was a middle schooler, because I would have done something like that and then died of embarrassment. Well, this went off the wall really fast I was messing around on my phone one night when I get a text from this girl. I have no clue what her name is, nor do I have any connection to her. I don't remember how it went apart from this girl hi, is this Alexa? Me no. I'm not even a girl. Girl yes you are. So and so gave me your number. Me no. My name is blank, and I'm a guy. You have the wrong number. Girl oh, I put the number in wrong. SRY. 
so apparently I have a number that is one digit off from some girl named Alexa. Apparently I was the one who texted the wrong number, it just happened yesterday. I got a text from a number one didn't even know. They said, who is this? Now normally I wouldn't respond, but I said, UHH, who is this? This is Tori. I'm sorry, I don't know a Tori. You might have the wrong number. Tori said to me, actually, you were the one who called me. You might have the wrong number. I don't remember calling anyone. I don't even have a Tori or her number in my contacts. I was getting help from a friend when texting a girl was bad at communicating, and she wanted to me to send screenshots of our convos, see where this is going? Well that's what happened, took a screenshot, and sent it to the girl I was talking to. Needless to say things got awkward after that, but we stopped talking for other reasons. My BF was going to send me a pic once, and he sent me a screenshot of the convo we had at that moment, and I was really confused, but I never brought it back up. When I was younger I accidentally texted my mom this long drawn out text of, no matter what happens we have each other sort of thing, that was meant for my boyfriend. It mentioned praying for a negative test even. Me and my boyfriend at the time, had a giant pregnancy scare. She just so happened to be going through testing for breast cancer, so she assumed I meant that. I really lucked out on that one. Also, both the pregnancy test and the breast cancer test were negative. Had a girl accidentally send me nudes once. Sent her back 7, 10 not too bad. She realized I was the wrong person, and asked for her pictures back. I said okay, and sent them back to her. Never heard from her again. All over txt messages. So weird. Never understood what me sending pictures she already had, or could save out of the txt accomplished, or if she though sending them back magically made them disappear. My sister sent me a picture of her baby bump, and said 14 weeks. I accidentally replied to the wrong person with a picture of my pushed out stomach, and said dinner. The person you accidentally sent that to must have thought you were asking them out for dinner in the most forward way possible. I'm sitting here in my office silently wiping my laughter tears away. It's not easy to make me laugh in my cubicle, but you have done it. It was last year actually. I'm in high school, and have a group chat with all my friends, where we often send each other stuff my parents would not be proud of I'm also in a group chat with everyone in my family. At the time I was grounded for drinking I meant to text my group chat with my friends not to text me, and to kick me from the group chat, until I was ungrounded, but I accidentally sent it to the family group chat. Ye awkward time. Before a first date was texting the guy letting him know I was here, and texting a friend about the date. Thought I was texting my friend about how I could totally see myself staying over at his place, since it was such a good location, but accidentally sent it to him instead. He never asked me out again. The question is, did you stay over? Huh, the dude actively cock blocked himself, lol. Backward but I was chatting with my GF at the time while at work. Client was ending the call we were on, and I casually said okay, love you, talk to you soon. That was probably 10 years ago, and people I don't even work with anymore still tease me about it in casual conversation. So that's a nice thing that happened. My boss told me the exact same story. Are you Chris? Equals P. So I had a guy that I look up to as my sort of music mentor. I had plans to go to a sushi place with my family and I were gonna go and texted him instead of my dad on my plans. I look up at his name, and was texted sorry man I see you like my music dad, but this text was meant to go to my real dad. All of this during his camping trip in the mountains. Oh boy I can actually contribute to this. Suffered a breakup. Was taking it pretty hard I was texting her, and my best friend day the same time. Sent a long text venting and complaining about the whole thing. Accidentally sent it to her instead of him. Didn't realize until she texted me back. Pretty much wanted to hide somewhere, and die in that moment. I've been sharing game screenshots to my friend I have two people with the same name, saved on my phone yep wrong one. I got blue ticked, and I kept sending these screenshots for a few months, because I talked to him about the game at school and I never really realized he wasn't getting the screenshots, until I finally realized the one I was sending screenshots wasn't the right one. Not me but my grandfather worked in the military back in 1941 in the last years of WW2 before they dropped the bomb on Japan and his orders were to brief chief of engineers, Eugene Riebold on what makes a nuclear bomb function. 
He said he didn't realize it was a wrong number, but lo and behold four years later the Soviets had working nukes of their own. A few jobs ago, my boss told us that she was leaving early because she wasn't feeling well. As she was driving out of the parking lot, I got a text from her that said just left work, can't wait for you dollar sign, at, in area, me so hard, be there in 10 minutes. I was thoroughly embarrassed for her. Not me, but my sister. She was explaining a reaction image she had saved of some guy from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia saying it's almost better than busting a nut. So she tried to send it to me. Ended up sending it to the family group chat. That includes our two conservative Christian parents. Laughter was had. I texted my boss instead of my dom by accident. Ironically, what ended up saving me was how my boss knew I would never actually call him sir, because he deliberately fostered a very casual working environment. He never let me hear the end of it, but was nice enough to keep it an inside joke. I invited the wrong person to play football on Thanksgiving thinking it was someone else, because they have the same name same initials, two for what it's worth. It's not that I didn't want the wrongly texted person to come, it's just that I forgot they existed. Jokes on me, neither of them came. My fiance's aunt sent us a rice cooker, so I was given her number, so I could text her thanks. I got the wrong number, and they said they were glad I was enjoying it, but they weren't Aunt Peggy. I apologized for the mix-up, and recommended buying a rice cooker, if they didn't already have one. Not really a text, but I was supposed to send some cash to my friend for alcohol, so I open swish I click on his name, and write down the amount, write alcohol money as a message, so he doesn't use it for other things and hit send, and realize I sent it to my father instead. Back in high school, I accidentally texted my ex who I had been dating at the time how I couldn't wait to taste her lips again. Little did she know, that text was for her best friend who I was cheating on her with at the time. I wasn't the best person back then but then again neither was she. I didn't actually do it yet, but I text both my boyfriend and a group chat full of friends on Instagram. Sometimes when I go to fast I'll click the wrong chat, and if I'm not pay attention I won't notice. So many time I almost accidentally sent nudes to my friends, 